are here with a very special guest tonight from Motion Intelligence, uh, Motion Intelligence neurosurgeon, Dr. Anthony Petralia. Anthony, you're here for a very special reason tonight. You guys are doing some testing on the fighters. Tell the folks at home a little bit about your company, why you're here, what's going on tonight with Motion Intelligence. Sure, I work. You know, I work with this uh, this company now. It's a, and it's a very interesting and innovative company. It's a fresh new, but a new New York startup companies, um, and it's a unique opportunity to come here and really use an event like this, uh, sort of as a laboratory, right? And and to kind of get a sense at um, trying to find new and innovative ways to diagnose what is a big uh, problem in, in concussions in this community. And so the company is is uh, obviously we're not full FDA approval, we're working on that, and it's not out on the market yet, but uh, within the coming year, uh, we expect to have a nice product that will meld and merge some balanced testing along with cognitive testing, which is a unique and practical approach to assessing concussion athletes. So uh, it's a lot of exciting research. We're really uh, looking forward to kind of testing blood samples, testing their balance, testing their cognitive status pre and post fight. So uh, really cutting edge stuff, and we're looking forward to presenting that data soon enough. Well, and that's, it's fantastic research that, that needs to be done, but let's, let's give it like a kind of a good balance for the folks at home because everybody is demonizing the concussion right now. It's big in professional sports, you know, professional yeah, football, right. professional mixed martial arts. What, what's kind of the line we're, we're at right now with concussions, head trauma, anything in pro sports? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, a, you know, it's certainly a hot topic, right? It's a sexy topic. Everyone wants to get their hand in, in, in the mix here. Frankly, MMA is actually quite a safe sport. It's frankly... Uh, a bit safer than than even boxing, quite a bit safer sure. for many reasons. Obviously, the the events are are sometimes stopped more more uh, uh, suddenly. There's a lot more submission holds, this and that, um, and and the head impacts are, are far fewer than you see with the repetitive head trauma that we see in boxing. Uh, as far as the broad context of concussion, obviously there's a lot of hype, and and, and this pendulum swings and has continued to swing back and forth over the years. Um, it is a important topic. It's not a new concept. This is something that's been around for centuries. It's been back, back around from ancient times, uh, Hippocratic corpus. And so uh, it's just now come into the limelight with all the high profile injuries and things we see. I think the thing that's important to remember is that these are real injuries. Right. There's a lot of hype that comes with this and, and not every headache is a concussion. I think it's important that people are now more aware of these injuries. Uh, they're more aware of how not to shrug them off um, uh, and and I think, you know, working with athletes at this level, at the pro level, really affects, you know, the more, you know, frankly, more important, which is a lot of the youth athletes and people looking to get into, you know, contact, collision sports, and how to, how to do that in a safe manner. Well, that, that leads into my partner. I mean, right. Seth, you were a professional fighter. Yeah, exactly. Very long time. And, and this is one of the things, it's a very important topic to me because it's actually one of the reasons that I, I retired from the sport. I noticed myself um, becoming concussed a lot, a lot easier. I got dizzier a lot easier. And every time I got hit, it felt like I was fading out a lot faster and being a, an owner of a few gyms I'm worried about that with my with my students as well so what, what's something that look what's what's a safe safe way to, to, to diagnose somebody like that just as, a, as an owner of a gym or if I know someone that did get concussion what's a safe length of time they should stop training or or even a time to retire yeah from, from getting concussed so much those are all great <laughs> questions I mean and getting at the diagnosis part I mean that's one of the you know interesting things from my standpoint and working with a company like Motion Intel which is we're trying to find innovative and practical ways to diagnose this. Right. This isn't like a broken arm, you know, or a bruise or a cut. It's yeah. not an injury that it's you can typically see. It's not cut dry, see. like easy. Like yeah, that. it's not easy to see. And every concussion patients will present differently. Every athlete's going to present with different symptoms right. from concussion to concussion and athlete to athlete. So I think from just purely a diagnosis standpoint, I think understanding the signs and symptoms, headache being the most common, um, but again, getting falling back in that not every headache is a concussion, but right. understanding the, the composite and having somebody that these athletes can follow up with from you know a medical standpoint a, a concussion specialist is important as far as when you know the age-old question of when to retire someone i think right. just like you said trying to understand you know the context of someone's head injury history uh, uh, are they getting these concussions more frequently uh, are the symptoms lasting longer is it taking a longer period of time for the athlete to heal from, from their said concussion. Right. Uh, uh, are, are they getting concussions more readily with lesser degrees of impact? I mean, at, these, at this sort of point, you start to say, okay, we need to give you some time, pull you away from the sport for a little bit. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more challenging at the more amateur and pro levels. Right. You know, how, do you, how do you do that? Uh, it's a little easier with the, the youth athletes you know, and, and kind of trying right. to steer them in the right direction. But. Well, well and this, is, this is a topic, I think, that affects everybody. Sorry to cut you guys no, off. We're, we're running short on time here, but 
We thank you for being here, Doc. Once again, uh, neurosurgeon Dr. Anthony Petralia. Um, this affects everybody. Uh, at every level as far as every sport so we're glad you're here we're glad we get to be one of the test audiences there well test athletes for you for yeah. here tonight so uh for dr anthony petralia of course seth petrozelli will be back right after this